friends. I'm so glad we get to do art together even though you're at home and I'm at home. Today we're going to be doing a project for the Pearland ISD Art Department. They're going to be creating a digital quilt with artwork from all the different schools and they're going to put it together as a thank you to those people who are still out working while we stay home and stay safe. Thank you for being a part of this project. In this video, we'll be doing a grocery bag thanking our grocery workers. Make sure that your paper is horizontal. That means side to side. And we're going to start out by drawing the top of our grocery bag. It's going to be just a little above the halfway point across your paper. So make a wide curved line. Next, we're going to draw the sides of the bag. So draw a diagonal line that goes out on each side. Then we're going to draw a line that curves in just a little down close to the bottom and you can stop when you get to the bottom and we'll start again from the other side. Start from the other side and come in just a little, curve down and connect. If it's crooked, then you can fix it. Next, we're going to draw a big loaf of bread, a baguette. So we're going to start over here on the left and draw a big oval shape that comes out and then it stops when it gets back to the top of the bag. We'll add a little bit of detail. We're going to start in the middle of our roll and draw a curved line that comes over and touches the edge. Start again in the same place and do another line that comes down just a little bit further and it stops at the edge. We're going to make two more of that shape. That just looks like some nice details on our baguette. Next, we're going to draw a can of pears right here. I'm going to make the can leaning to the side, so I'm going to make a super skinny oval that is at a diagonal. Next, I'm going to make a line that comes down at a diagonal and one that matches on the other side. We'll go ahead and put a label on our can. So you're going to pretty much copy this shape, but make it smaller inside the can. I'm going to write the word pears and draw a pear. If you don't have enough room, you can just draw a pear or any kind of fruit or vegetable. So I have the word pears, and now I'm going to draw the stem of the pear and just the top of the pear. The rest of the pear will be down below the bag. Next, I'm going to draw an apple, and I'm going to draw a curved line then another curved line and it comes down and it's starting to look like a heart. Then just draw a little line right here. We're going to add a stem to the top, a curved line, small diagonal line, and another curved line that comes back to our apple. 
Next is my favorite vegetable. We're gonna draw some broccoli. So I want you to start over on the side and you're gonna draw a scalloped line. And bring it down over to touch your apple. It's not gonna look a whole lot like broccoli yet. Inside the broccoli, we're gonna add some texture. Draw a bunch of little C shapes that go in all different directions. Next, let's draw an orange. This one's super easy. Start over by your baguette and draw a curved line that comes over and touches your can. Now, draw a teeny tiny oval inside for the, where the stem connects to the orange. Next up is a banana. Draw a curved line that comes up. Then we're gonna hop over just a bit and draw another curved line that comes down a little wider. At the top of our banana, draw about half of an oval. And let's add a little detail, just one line that comes almost all the way up to our banana. Once we color it, it'll look a lot more like a banana. And let's draw one more can in the back. I want you to start at the banana, draw an oval that comes out and back around. And line that comes down. We need to draw where the bag would come back around the back side of the vegetables. So add a line here until it touches your baguette and a line here till it touches your broccoli. Next, we can write thank you grocery workers on our bag. Use your neatest handwriting and make sure you spell it correctly. And there we have it. Now you're ready to color.